Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be uh, looking at view models so let's go ahead and, and create our view models that are going to be basically uh, working as a bridge uh, between our uh, core data uh, model and uh, our views okay so let's go ahead and create a, uh, a new view model a new file inside view model so right click on view model and then select uh, Swift file and we're going to name this one birthday view model okay and we're going to create a file now let's import from swift ui uh, we're going to need that for um we may need that actually and uh, we may need a uh, combine as well i'm just going to import it okay now we're going to create a class And it's going to be birthday view model. It's going to have three properties ID, name, and date, representing the same things that we have in our original model, in our birthday model. Um, and then we're going to create some uh, formatters. So let's create month formatter. And the uh, reason uh, we're going to create all these, uh, so let me go back to the sample app. Uh, this birthday formatter, we need actually the month to display in the calendar and the date separately. So we're going to create month formatter first. And uh, this is going to be of type date formatter. And uh, we're going to simply say uh, date style will be short date format is going to be MMM that means like three three uh, letters for your birthday uh, for your month sorry um, and then we're going to return this similarly we're going to create day formatter which is going to be of type date formatter once again date format this time it's going to be DD two digits of date and we're gonna return this all right now um, now we need to what we need to do is um, we need to actually uh, first let's resolve this error yeah so let's create our init and in this init we're gonna take UUID name and date okay and uh, we're gonna assign them on self like so okay and uh, we're gonna create one more overloaded uh, in it and this in it is going to help us uh, with mapping so we are going to say birthday so we're going to supply birthday of type birthday and we're going to simply say self.id is equal to birthday.id and we're going to force and wrap that one because we know that entry is going to be there because um, we are supplying it to our force uh, unwrap because uh, whenever core data uh, creates uh, these uh, uh, these models the classes that they create uh, uh, sorry class properties that they create are um, are optional uh, in the class definition so so we know like you know we are initializing it but still they are uh, they are not there so for safety you can actually provide something like UID and uh, not gonna really need that 
because because we are going to be populating this part day anyways okay so this is good um we can we can do this um now let's go ahead and calculate the remaining days this remaining days uh, uh digit uh that we need to calculate so we're gonna create our remaining days and this is going to be a computed property And we are going to first, first uh, check for next birthday component. So next birthday, birthday uh, components. Okay. And we're going to take calendar dot current dot date component. And uh, we need day and month. And that we need from date, okay? So the date that's been supplied to us, that's the birthday. And uh, then we're gonna say let today component will be, I uh, once again, calendar.current.date components. And uh, this time we're gonna say, we only need year. For today so only need year for today and we're gonna compute next birthday uh, we're gonna say calendar dot current dot date um, dot date from date component and we're gonna say next birthday uh, component will give us the next birthday and we're gonna check this so we're gonna say if date if today basically is greater than next birthday in that case we're gonna say next birthday is equal to calendar dot current dot date by adding a year value is going to be one so by adding one year to next birthday date okay so we're simply saying like you know if date has gone past then we need next year's date and now we're going to simply say calendar dot current dot date component our date components and uh, we are going to get day from date and uh, we are going to need the difference between those two. So we're going to say next birthday dot dot day. Otherwise, you will. Okay. So basically what we're doing is we are we are getting uh, the difference between current date and next birthday. So if it's like, you know, tomorrow, then we're going to get it. If it's like, you know, uh, today, then we're going to get it. And But if it was yesterday, then we're going to get get date for next year. Okay. So that's how we are actually going to compute this remaining days. Um, now we also need turning year. Um, so how many years uh, old they are turning. And we're going to simply compute that too. We're going to simply say return calendar dot current dot date components and uh, we're going to supply the component year so we need year uh, from um, date to and once again this is another comparison um, and you guys say compare today uh, compare the date of the birth and today and uh, get the year out of that and if it's not there then then get zero uh, and add one to that okay so how many years however many years they are turning so you get like uh, the total number of uh, to, uh, total number of years there are uh, the difference there is between the date and today so basically you get their current age and add one 
uh, to give the new age they are turning into okay next is basically our month string so month string and uh, we're gonna simply format our string in this one um, so we're gonna return month formatter dot string from date and uh, day string is basically return day formatter dot string from date okay and uh, yeah and those are all of our computer properties so that's actually all of our all of the brain that we needed so we can actually today component is not being let's see Okay, so we are not using it, so let's comment this out. Okay, that's that's helpful. Um, okay, let's go ahead and build this and see. Okay. So, next thing uh, we're going to do is we're going to build our list view model. So, let's go ahead and open a new file or create a new file. And uh, we're going to select the file again. And this time we're going to create birthday list view model. And this is basically when um, this list is shown. Uh, this list that you see right here. Uh, this is when uh, we actually show this list. So we need a view model for that one. Okay. Uh, once again, we're going to import Swift UI. Import combine and class is going to be birthday list view model and uh, this is going to be observable object so we could observe that and it's going to publish the results so we can say add publish or birthdays so This is going to publish all the birthdays there are, and it's actually going to uh, publish birthday view model that we recently created. So as you can see, we are actually not going to use the actual birthday uh, object here. It's going to be the birthday view model object that's going to publish. Now we're going to fetch birthdays from core data. So we're going to simply say self dot birthdays is equal to data manager so data manager dot shared dot get birthdays now get birthdays gives us birthday object not birthday view model and that's what that's what it's saying here so we can simply say map birthday view model dot in it and that takes a birthday so it's gonna basically transform each birthday that you get um, uh, from your uh, data manager and convert it into birthday view model that is why we created this initializer so we can pass that um, in an init and this is a shorthand actually that actually takes care of that as long as that object takes uh, that objects initializer uh, the birthday object birthday view model object initializer takes that type that needs to be transformed okay uh, let's go ahead and create one more function this is going to be remove birthday uh, we're going to need that one uh, and this is also going to be applied at the uh, list level so we're going to create that right here as well and uh, then we're going to simply say um, in this one we're going to get birthdays uh, at that index uh, that needs to be deleted or removed and we can simply say data manager dot shared dot remove birthday for that birthday dot id like so okay and that will actually uh, uh, wrap all of uh, the view models that we need for our um, list uh, 
okay so uh, in the next video we're gonna uh, basically go ahead and create our list view and uh, see all of this um, basically wire all these so we can see if it's working or not and uh, then later on we're gonna make we're gonna basically make more view models for adding new uh, adding new birthday and updating birthdays okay so in the next video we're gonna first um, uh, design our uh, UI for birthday list so I'll see you guys in next video thank you